Well, if you lived forever, just like I have, you'd remember beautiful times, such as the World War II, or, you know, who could forget the Black Plague? Those who have lived as long as I have will remember Expert Village. Basically, Expert Village um, was a clusterfuck of videos, um, each one helping people to understand certain uh, things and go about them. For example, there was an Expert Village uh, video on how to draw, sort of. There was an Expert Village of how to um, cook, how to say hi to people, how to walk, how to fart, how to burp. This guy here is showing us how to do the legendary moonwalk. I'm Daniel for Expert Village. Another variation to moonwalk, I guess you'd call it the forward slide, but it looks like this. Yeah, basically you're just walking in a drunken state. I'll give you a tip guys, just just drink yourself to oblivion and try to walk normally. This is what you get. You can use the two interchangeably, moonwalk and then go forwards. That's not a moonwalk. <laughs> that's, that, that's not how a moonwalk works. See, the moonwalk gives you the illusion that you're walking forward, um, but you're really walking backwards. You're just showing me how to ridicule yourself and look drunk. As easy as that. Yep, it is easy. Try it. It's not in front of anyone. Next one is one of my personal favorites. It's called How to Wear a Hat. You heard me right. For all of those of you who um, lack the... Uh, the capacity, the, the amount of brain cells needed to actually put a hat on their head, uh, this video will, will make their lives much, much easier. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Terry Lynn and I'm here on behalf of Expert Village. And in this segment, we're going to be showing how to wear a hat. That looks like a face of somebody who excelled in life. You can see the success brimming out of his eye sockets, his nostrils oozing success and happiness. Yep, that's the face you want to have when you're happy. I'm just gonna make sure that your hair is pushed away from your face so you don't have any hanging in your face when you put it back. If your hair is long enough you can tuck it behind your ears and you're gonna start with the front. You just put the uh, nose of the hat down and you just pull the back and then you want to adjust how high you want to wear it. Usually the brim should be just slightly above the eyebrows Question, can I do this by myself or must I have another person do it for me? And then again, then you can do some final tucking to make sure that any pieces are stuck behind the ear. You don't really want a lot of pieces hanging out. And you just fluff. That's where my mom's hat went. Hey, mom. Up the back a bit if you have any hair in the back there. Hey, change my shirt, shaved my beard, fucking deal with it. This was one of my personal favorites. How to draw an alligator. How to draw an alligator. Almost exactly the same as a lizard. It's one of the easiest things to draw, so you can be drawing alligators everywhere. Especially if you're high as a kite. The rest of the snout, and here's the snout. At the back of the snout where the eye is, we're going to make another little bump like that before we draw the eye. And then the eye, and the bottom lip. And the rest of the head in there. We'll give him a little bit more fancy claws than the, we did the lizard. Give him a little bit of a angry look. Just one line right there. Yeah, dude, Picasso ain't got no shit on you, my man. And give him a little bit of the bony ridges along his back. Oh no, no, no! Please stop! You're making it too realistic, there, buddy. You're making you're gonna break reality for fuck's sake. And draw a line like that. And then you see how the bony ridge kind of come follows the tail around, like that. Give him some scales. Gosh, I feel like an artist already. 
put him somewhere scary. Your mama's ass. And there you have the ferocious alligator. Nice. I'm so effing excited about this. I'm gonna teach you how to draw my favorite character. Um, I'm Goku from Dragon Ball. So let's start. So first we need um, the, the head of, of the character and then his body. Goku has some big buff arms. See, this is a this is an actual um, um, to scale drawing of Goku. He has his uh, sleeves going here. Um, he has his uh, his emblem here. Uh, I think it's something like this. Uh, his hair like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. And now we're just gonna draw his anime nose and his big wide eyes like Goku is a really excited character. And um, his legs. And then you uh, you can either scratch this and um, do zap hair like this for him to go uh, Super Saiyan. Um, yeah, uh, this is an uh, this is a two scale drawing of Goku. If Toriyama seen this, he, he could well sue me for copyright infringement. So this is how you draw uh, a, a two scale Goku. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now we're gonna do a little grooving with a nice jazz beat. What you want to really feel is the two and and the four and. So four one two three four one two and three four and one two and three four and one. Welcome to Expert Village. I'm Steve Blank. Hello, Steve. Are you gonna teach me how to speak like a tough man with that oh so deep voice you have? Here to show you how we can record with electronic drums. Oh shit, that's kind of disappointing. I think, I think that we're on drugs. I think that we're on drugs for filming this absurdity. I can feel the drummer inside each and every one of us. A child that's a drummer inside each and every one of us. This song's creeping me out. You're focusing way too much on a certain drummer man being inside every one of us. A drummer like no other inside each and every one of us. So yeah, that was Expert Village in a nutshell. But uh, join me next time as we'll explore the hottest and spiciest videos of Expert Village. Most notably, uh, my favorite, and hopefully one of yours too, how to creepily pick up a random girl um, in a supermarket, and how to creepily um, assert yourself onto a, a woman. Um, and. Uh, Try to harass her sexually without um, her not calling the cops. I know this was a, a short video, but um, yeah, right now I'm kind of busy with stuff. And um, I wanted to really dedicate some time and juice into the upcoming Expert Village video because you're going to fucking love it. So yeah, feel free to uh, like and subscribe this content um, if you're dumb enough to do so. And uh, see you next time. Peace. Yeah, yeah, got, got that. Peace? The fuck were you thinking, man? Why the fuck did you tell me to, to do peace? Where did you get this stuff? God damn it, it's still recording.